A compelling detective story, a cloak and dagger action and a romantic drama, all these stories were taken from real life. The history of Kazakhstan is inseparable from the world history. Reflections on history, our version. The Code of Power. Despite the rain, the view is beautiful. For seven centuries, people have been admiring the sea from up here. The name of the castle, Belvedere, translates from the old Catalan as beautiful view. In Palma de Mallorca, the main city and port of the Spanish autonomous community of the Balearic Islands. In Catalonia and in the Balearic Islands, at the very beginning of the 14th century, portolans began to be manufactured, parchment maps for seafarers, covered with lines diverging like rays of the sun, designations of compass points. The maps were lavishly painted and often covered with bizarre images, from Sergei Markov's The Earth Circle. Among them, there is no equal to this one, covered with bizarre images with secrets encoded in them. The biblical Magi followed the star for some reason in the direction of Asia to the mysterious kingdom of Gog and Magog and the mysterious monastery on Isikul, the only European map of the world of the 14th century in which the nomadic empire is represented completely. The Catalan Atlas is the code of absolute power. It shows a lot of stories, and now experts, historians, repeatedly return to it. This map is important not only for our history, but for the whole history of the Eurasian steppes. We aren't able to unravel the image, the image of Janibek, which is painted on the Catalan map. Chapter 1. The Royal Cartographer. The personal master of the world and compasses of King Aragon strolled along the Majorcan waterfront on the first day, attentively looking at the faces. He asked about foreigners at the port who arrived and very often talked with slaves. There were many of them. The plague, a black death which took the lives of many Balearicans, and even noble ladies began to marry the slaves. Out of the Golden Horde, trapped in numerous battles, prisoners were brought in by the hundreds. During this time, there was chaos. There was a political struggle of everyone against everyone. If a family was taken prisoner, the husband and wife were not separated. But if only one woman was taken prisoner, then she automatically became free in the sense that she could be married as a slave to anyone. However, women were not often brought to Palma. After a prolonged sea voyage, such delicate creatures could not withstand it, but male captives essentially raised the demographic bar on the island. The governor of the island received a decree from the king Pedro of Aragon. The king was angry with slaves in Mallorca and ordered to take extreme measures against them. In 1374, a Spaniard who lived in Mallorca had from 10 to 50 slaves. From Sergei Markov's The Earth Circle. Even the census was announced. However, he was rather pleased with this fact. The stories of strangers about the steppe power stirred the imagination of the royal photographer. He wanted to proceed with the execution of the crowned orders, quickly as possible, the creation of an atlas of the world. In fact, it is such a book with huge information, which we cannot always see and understand with modern language and modern looks. The six sheets of parchment on wooden panels, just over half a meter each in length. On the first, the treatises on cosmography, astrology, and astronomy. By the way, the Earth in the form of a sphere is actually pathetic. There is a place for the advice to mariners. The rest, the major part of the atlas, is an expanded map with information about the overseas countries. The author of the Catalan map is Kreske who practically fixed more on that map's cosmogenic views that were associated with the period of the Golden Horde at the beginning, or more precisely in the first half of the 14th century. Kreske 
Kreski, who is also known as Abraham Kreskis, came from a Jewish family who received special privileges from the Aragonese crown for their exceptional talents. Chapter 2, Points on the Map. The locals call it La Sil. The most beautiful building of the city is the Cathedral of Santa Maria, and it has no less beautiful legend. The King of Aragon, having directed his troops to Mallorca, got into a storm. The flotilla was on the verge of destruction, and the monarch asked for the salvation of the Virgin Mary, promising to build a temple in her honor. The noise from the construction site, which reached the windows of his workshop, didn't interfere with his concentration. Considering another riddle, the royal cartographer watched the walls of the future temple as they rose. The petals of pale pink flowers, dropping from the almond trees, fell onto the table, littered with manuscripts. The swarthy man blew them away to continue working on the image of Kanbaluk. Near the Chinese capital was a horned griffin, revealing wings. One more surprising than the other, gradually filled the surface of the map. From Sergei Marcos, The Earth Circle. With this portrait, the master had to suffer pretty badly. The manuscripts of the travelers helped a little in creating the image. The ruler of the country, which you'd never visit, Yambek, Senor de Sarmat, the master carefully deduced the Latin letters on the parchment. After all, if we take this image purely as a descendant of Genghis Khan, then the picture that we see is the image of Janibek and doesn't fit into the canons of the heirs of Genghis Khan. He's there in a turban with bare feet. In his hands, he holds a golden ball and scepter. As one of the greatest Khans of the Golden Horn, here he is depicted just sitting on a pillow, behold, with golden balls in his hands, a symbol of power. The pillow, power and balls are all a symbol. The map is very rich. It's full of all kinds of subjects, both realistic and mythological. The fact that the author of the atlas worked with available written sources is easily identified. There are citations from several inscriptions on the map. The book on the diversity of the world by Marco Polo, the notes of the Armenian ruler, inflorescence of the stories of the lands of the East, and the report on the journey to China of the Franciscan Pordenone. If we say, well, here is the famous Armenian king, he traveled, he naturally tried to isolate some of the things related to Christianity closer to him. The same for Plano Carpini and Rubruk, Marco Polo. They naturally tried to depict things that seemed unusual, something that attracted their attention. Carpini and Rubruk, who completed their expeditions in the middle of the 13th century, are somewhat outdated. All the same, more than a hundred years had passed. The political information of the enterprising Genoese did not differ either. <laughs> to him, there are some questions about the fact that much was just invented. Some animals that he described, this is the claim that exists for Marco Polo, right? Some things can clearly be found, factual errors or exaggerations or simply figments of the imagination. <laughs> For example, a miniature illustrating Marco Polo's notes about diamond seekers, at the bottom of the gorges with snakes they throw meat, to which the precious stones would stick, and specially trained eagles would rise the pieces up to the hunters again. People didn't imagine to travel after Marco Polo described his roads. They were afraid to travel to Central Asia because they thought that barbarians lived there. Nevertheless, the Catalan atlas created by Crespi is, in our time, considered quite accurate. Both the Caspian Sea and the Mangistar Peninsula are located in the right places, and parts of the modern territories of northwestern Kazakhstan are also on the map. This is a Portalan map from 1375, on which, as a matter of fact, the whole of Eurasia is depicted. On one version of the map, the Catalan map is depicted as a caravan, a caravan that goes from Sarachik to China. 
от сарайчика в Китай. Not all cities are recognizable today. Inscriptions are difficult to discern. But, for example, the Catalan atlas depicted Aksikid. The archaeologists found it in 1949. This is an ancient settlement of Tatigai on the lower reaches of the Nura River. In this map, there are many exact facts, and it was made for travelers, most devoted to the Great Silk Road. Chapter 3, A Mysterious Portrait. From the Aragonese Almudena Palace, which is next to the cathedral under construction, to the house and the workshops are all within reach. But just in case, he took his sons with him. Yehuda is also a talented cartographer, and he also deserved a royal award. The monarch paid for the atlas 140 florins. This is about half a kilogram of gold, and Kreskes was afraid that his work would provoke criticism. The map turned out to be too innovative. He was shown it is a frozen history, but over a longer period. The main trade routes and directions along which caravans went were shown. He showed some battlefields here, moments of some battles. The most famous version was a gift to the French monarch, and to this day six parchments are kept in Paris. Interestingly, most maps of an earlier period have strangely disappeared. And yet, for what purpose was the Catalan Atlas created? Sea charts were the key to the empire, opening the way to wealth. Therefore, in the early stages of the development, they were passed behind a dense veil of secrecy. There is no doubt that the complete disappearance of all nautical maps of the early period are directly connected with their secret nature and with the great importance that they sometimes acquired as a powerful political or economic weapon. From Lloyd Brown, The History of Geographic Maps. The atlas didn't fit with religious dogma despite the fact that biblical plots are present. The Catalan map reflects a new geopolitical reality where there is also a threat emanating from the steppe empires and a desire to be friends with their rulers. And let's not forget that the Mongol rulers were very tolerant after all. Figures of steppe rulers, tamgas, emblems, flags, an indication of Muslim and Christian sanctuaries, symbolic compositions in which an unknown message is encoded. And there may be predictions for the future associated with the plague epidemic in the middle of the 14th century. It's very interesting, the fact that why is Janibek depicted on the Catalan map of 1375? One of the main reasons is that he was recognized as the ruler of the northern regions. The ruler, who according to the European chronicles used the Black Death as a weapon, but at the same time the map was created, he'd not even been alive for two decades. In 1360, a great battle began when Berdybek killed his father, Janibek, and then resigned. But he did not reign for a long time, he was also killed. So the successors of the steppe empire were interested in the struggle for power, which much more than plans for a new conquest of the world. Epilogue. Keys to the Riddle. The ominous words, Gog and Magog, were carefully written out near the image of the wall of Gog and Magog, located behind the mountains of the Caspian. Variegated flags and coats of arms, a siren holding the tails of two dolphins, huge birds in the form of storks attacking people, the eastern lords sitting on thrones, sailing ships, what was not depicted on the Catalan map from Sege Marco, the Earth Circle. On any atlas, this is a subject that gives concise information, right? It should be so, but the Catalan atlas, as in principle and many medieval ones, are like historical portraits. They contain a very long history. Long and very mysterious, perhaps the most mysterious miniature, the key to which was tried to be picked up by scientists such as Valikhanov, Semenov, Chenshansky and Kolpakovsky still excites modern researchers. The monastery on the shore of Lake Gisikul, in which, according to the cartographer, the relics of one of the Christian apostles are kept. However, it's better to talk about this in another program.